Hello viewers, this is Rise. Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Well, I managed to get all the equipment we needed. The Aeon Blade for Chrono. Frog Spill is the Master Moon and the Hero Metal. Dream Gun for Luca, Dream Bow for Marley, and Magma Hand for Robo. We want to have a party of Chrono, Isla, and Frog. You have to bring these two, but... Frog is uh, going to be pretty useful here for his water spell. Alternatively, Marley would be just as good. Marley might actually be a little bit better, but... Uh, I want Frog to get some more showtime. And we have a new enemy. This is a different reptile from the uh, green ones we fought. What we want to do here is cast lightning on him because they actually <clears throat> can get shocked, similar to, what is it there, the dinosaur-like enemies. So, and uh, their defense is fairly high without it. Not as ridiculous as the dinosaurs, but it is there. So, uh, Leap Slash, and Rock Throw the Cave Apes there, and now let's use Spin Cut. I have no idea if these guys actually uh, release electrical energy or not. I never let them. <laughs> if they can do it, I don't think so. Slurp Kiss is a good one. That heals everybody, and it cures all status effects. Bubble hit? I forget what that is. Okay, when there's more than one Reptite, what you want to do is you want to cast Lightning 2. And you could use your physical attack, but uh, I suppose they could miss, so I just stick with Rollo Kick and Slurp Cut. Alternatively, Leap Slash works just as well. Same with Isla's later skills. No reason to overkill them, really. But uh, a normal attack will kill them when they're stunned. And a uh, spin cut for Chrono will kill them, too. As you've already seen. They didn't even bother to disarm them. What is up with the prison system in this game? In this game? I mean, everywhere you go, they never take away your weapons. I wish Frog had more uh, physical skills, but he's really only got Leap Slash and Slurp Cut. No, Reptites, this time you are the main course! Let's kick their ass. Do Lightning 2. Roll a kick. Slurp cut. Let's fast forward through that animation there. What would we do without the fast forward feature? And that's Spin Cut. And there we go. I just thought I'd show off that fight because it has some dialogue before it. Let's hit the switch. Come on! Let's hit the switch! Screw you! So, Isla, do you want to hit the switch or should I? Um, there's a switch right to your right. Why don't you just hit the switch? Okay, fine. Trap yourself too. See if I care. I love Frog's reaction there. Um, Kino stole our stuff. He doesn't deserve to be cheap. What a crappy prison. All the prisons in this world are really bad. Well, we have to follow after Kino, so... Let's go. Alright, here we are, and, uh, what's Kino gonna do? Oh, he's gonna conveniently open that for us. Yeah, shut up, Kino. You could use a shelter if you want outside, but I don't think it's necessary. Now, you could hit that switch and drop these guys, but I'd rather fight them, so... There you go. Okay, let's keep going. And now we have new enemies, Volcano. These guys are weak to water. If you had water too, I'd use water too. But I don't have it. So let's cast water on these guys. Uh, now let the avian rexes there are weak to lightning, but uh, I don't think it'll actually... It won't be enough to kill them. So let's try lightning too. That might be enough. I think uh, the volcano there will absorb it. Yeah, lightning too is enough. The avian rexes have uh, 327 HP, so a lightning two spell will take care of them. 
and a quick water spell on the volcanoes, and they're done. If you have water too, obviously I'd use water too, if there's more than one, but uh, I don't have it, so, too bad. Oh, more enemies? Okay, let's keep going here, and, uh, is there another fight around here? No. There's a lot of tech points to be had there. Okay, don't try to open this one on the right. There's nothing in it. It'll just drop you to the lower floor. To where the Laruba villages were, actually. Okay, let's keep going now and, uh... Let's fight a new enemy. Dinosaurs roaming the Earth with humans. Absolutely. Lightning 2, and... I would use Rock Throw on these pterosaurs here. That'll be enough to kill them. They have 1,090 HP. Combined with the lightning spell, it's more than enough. Rock throw alone can nearly one-hit these guys. Once their defense is down, that is. Now, if you drop these two guys with the switches, the two would set pipes here, and you fell down the hole with that chest I told you not to open, what would happen is these guys would be waiting for you down there. So, something to be aware of. Apparently, they just revive from shock. They don't shock you with that electrical shock attack. Just one of these guys? Eh, I can do this real quick. Quick lightning two spell. And that's it. Alright. I really like the lightning two spell. It's got a cool animation. Okay, this room... Okay, I'm going to take a pause break here, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and uh, we have more enemies to fight. Now, uh, those Reptites, they'll, uh, yeah, they'll do that. And that can get annoying, so. It's really not that much of a threat, though. I wouldn't worry about it. I just thought I'd mention it. Okay, now this room is tricky. See, if we tried to get... There's a chest up there. If we tried to get it, it would have teleported us away. Now, to get the hardest to get chest in here, you have to do that. Go right there. And we get another meso mail. Excellent. We'll give that to Frog for now. Don't forget about those ruby vests, so we're going to be re-equipping those shortly. Is that all of them? Get a Ceratopper. It's a good piece of armor for females. Let's give it to Isla. I think that's all the chests in here. Yeah, yeah, that's all of them. And now we have more enemies. Oddly enough, sometimes if you attack those volcanoes, they'll counter and hit themselves. It's really weird. More enemies, yeah. Okay, let's keep going here. And, uh... More enemies. Ow! That was Isla's head. Okay, uh, I think there's another fight in here somewhere. Yep. Okay, let's keep going here and, uh, go in here. Oh boy, which one is it? Oh, well, apparently that wasn't it. Okay, what's this one do? Yeah, the left one opens it with monsters coming out. Which doesn't matter, because I would have fought them anyway. Are those reptites back? Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, right up here, and uh, we got more enemies to take care of. I don't think I mentioned this, but enemies that are shocked don't attack you. With one exception. Visbell? Didn't we kill you? Okay, well, we got some boss battles coming up soon, so... I think this is a good place to leave off, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys.